Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Giant Horror Birds Fossils recovered in Antarctica show some of the most horrific birds that ever soared the skies. The bone specimens found on the icy continent represent the oldest member of a particular giant extinct bird species called Pelagornithid. This bird once patrolled the area around the southern oceans and boasted an unbelievable wingspan of 21 feet. That's pretty extraordinary, especially by today's standards. The largest bird alive right now is the wandering albatross, with a wingspan of about 11 and a half feet. Unsurprisingly, the extinct Pelagornithid was very similar to the modern albatross, just a lot bigger. This giant bird was widely distributed across the planet for around 60 million years. What's really interesting is that after scientists dated these fossils, they learned the giant albatross came on the scene just one million years after the dinosaurs became extinct. Just one little blip in time after the dinos and all their relatives were wiped off the planet, a 21-foot bird started soaring around the sky. According to Peter Kloss from the University of California, Berkeley, the giant albatross went on to be the apex predator of the oceans. For millions of years, with no other major competitors, the Pelagornithid was basically the shark of the skies. It even had bony protrusions in its beak that resembled extremely sharp teeth. They weren't technically teeth, though, and were more like bony shards made of keratin. But still, pretty terrifying. Number 9. Ancient Ruins NASA's Operation Ice Bridge in Antarctica involved monitoring changes to polar ice. They use a new system called the Advanced Topographic Laser Altimeter System, or ATLAS for short. This technology is capable of looking underneath the ice to see what's hiding on the ground below. It uses photons to impact the Earth and make a perfect map of what's underneath solid ice. After scanning Antarctica, scientists discovered something that appeared to be a mysterious city, something man-made that's been hidden for thousands of years. The patterns in the photographs clearly show some kind of artificial construction. There even appears to be a pyramid structure hiding beneath the ice. Now, these could all be geological formations found in nature, but to some people, it doesn't really look like it. There are too many straight lines and too many clusters of rectangular shapes that appear to be houses. Plus, it's all under about a mile of solid ice. The only way a settlement could have been built under Antarctica is if it happened hundreds of thousands of years ago, when the continent was still a lush forest. For conspiracy theorists, the implications of all this are clearly quite frightening from a historical standpoint. If there truly is a settlement buried under the ice here, it means there was a civilization that predates humanity living on the continent. It could mean the only reason their settlement remained in Antarctica is because of that mile of thick ice preserving it, while all other traces of this mysterious culture vanished. What do you think about all this? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Humanoid Fossils In the Whitmore mountain range of Antarctica, the fossilized skeletons of extremely small humans were allegedly discovered by researchers looking for dinosaur bones. What they found instead were the fossilized remains of human beings, only about the size of somebody's foot. They appeared to be about 12 or 13 inches tall, completely encased in rock. The alleged fossils were then supposedly flown to the National Institute of Ancient Studies in Washington to be analyzed. But the truly unbelievable part is that the researchers guessed the fossils to be 600 million years old. That doesn't really make any sense though because that was back when jellyfish first appeared on Earth, way before humans. To be honest, the fossils look like fakes. There are no mainstream scientists talking about the bizarre miniature human remains discovered, and what information is out there is extremely vague. Maybe researchers did find some tiny skeletons, but it's doubtful they were 600 million years old. If it's all true, then it means Antarctica was once inhabited by a literal race of shrunken people, or maybe even fairies. Number 7. Hitler's Ice Base There's no proof exactly that Hitler ever built a secret ice base in Antarctica. However, to many, that doesn't mean it's not true. In the late 1930s, the Nazis showed an extreme, almost obsessive interest in the icy continent. They sent a small expedition to survey the northern part of it and claim it for themselves. This was in December of 1938. The Germans were hoping to claim a large part of Antarctica, 
one that had already been claimed by the Norwegians. It was a total failure. And with everything going on when war broke out, Germany wasn't able to launch any additional expeditions to the south. But here's where things get weird. A man named Ladislas Zabo wrote a detailed account in a local Argentinian newspaper in 1945. He was a Hungarian exile who apparently had some inside information. He claimed that the German U-boat U-530, which arrived at an Argentine naval base on July 10, 1945, had been carrying Hitler and his lover Eva Braun. He said the U-boat had taken Hitler to the secret base that his team had built back in 1938 in Antarctica. And so Hitler supposedly spent his final days isolated with Eva Braun in a makeshift shack in Antarctica. There is no other proof of this except a rumor. Nobody has found the remains of Hitler's supposed ice base. But you just never know what's out there hiding under the ice. What do you think about this theory? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Number 6. Ancient Bones it was in 1985 that a very interesting skull was discovered on Yamana Beach in Antarctica's South Shetland Islands. It wasn't the skull of a dinosaur or of some creepy Antarctic monster. Rather, it belonged to an indigenous woman who had lived in southern Chile and died in her early 20s. The skull was over a century old, suggesting the woman died sometime around 1819 to 1825. And even though this makes the skull only about 200 years old, it is still the oldest piece of human remains found on the continent. The place where this skull was found was once a camp for sealers in the 19th century. These were the people that hunted seals for their blubber and fur. But because there were no female sealers, nobody really knows where this woman fit in. Maybe she was a captive. She may have been stolen from Chile by foreign sealers and brought to the camp. Or she may have been there with her own group of hunters. It's all very confusing and nobody knows the truth. What's important is that this woman's skull could play a key role in determining who Antarctica belongs to in the coming years. You see, there's currently a treaty that says Antarctica is a natural reserve, not owned by anyone and specifically used for scientific research. When that treaty expires in the year 2048, nations could start fighting over who gets to mine Antarctica's resources. And when that happens, the oldest human skull found on the continent could give Chile a more legitimate claim than other countries. And now for number 5, but first want to give a big shout out to Deftweet44 and Dondia L. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 5, the HMS Endurance. Antarctic explorers have finally discovered the HMS Endurance, hiding two miles beneath the surface of the ocean. The discovery of the lost vessel has been called the most challenging shipwreck search ever conducted. If you don't know too much about the HMS Endurance, let me give you a quick recap. The expedition was headed by Sir Ernest Shackleton in 1915 to explore Antarctica. But once it got trapped in pack ice in the Weddell Sea, the ship broke apart and sank. It then sat on the bottom of the sea for 107 years before it was finally discovered in March of 2022. Menson Bound, the director of the exploration, said it's the finest wooden shipwreck he has ever seen in his whole life. While you might expect such an old ship to have broken apart, the Antarctic cold has actually left it remarkably preserved. Even the name Endurance is still written legibly across the stern. How was it so perfectly preserved? It's because the sea life that would normally feed on wood simply isn't present in such icy waters. Instead of the wood being eaten, the whole ship has been colonized by Antarctic sea squirts and sponges. Number 4. A Rock from Space Scientists conducting studies at the Princess Elizabeth Antarctica Research Station discovered a massive chunk of chondrite stuck in the ice. The scientists were purposely looking for meteorites that they believed to be scattered across the Nansen ice field in late January. That was when they came across the unexpectedly enormous 40-pound hunk of chondrite. It proved to be the biggest meteorite anyone has ever found in East Antarctica in the past 25 years. Here's something you might not know. Antarctica is one of the best places in the world to go meteorite hunting. This may have been the biggest specimen the team ever discovered, roughly the size of a fat pumpkin, but it wasn't the only one. By the end of their investigations, they had plucked 165 pounds of meteorites out of the ice. In total, they packed 425 meteorites in their luggage to take back to their laboratories for research. Why are there so many meteorites in Antarctica? 
It's not that more space rocks land here than anywhere else. It's the fact that thanks to the endless stretches of white ice and snow, black space rocks are incredibly easy to find. It's like Easter egg hunting in the snow with giant black eggs. Anybody want to go? Let me know. Number 3. Giant Monster Egg In 2011, researchers discovered a large and very peculiar fossil in Antarctica. Recently, this mysterious fossil has been identified as a giant egg that was laid by a marine reptile 66 million years ago. The egg had been sitting in a collection at the National Museum of Natural History in Chile until a team from the University of Texas came along and analyzed it. They found the egg to be approximately 11.7 inches in length, which makes it the largest specimen of a soft-shell egg ever found. It's also the second largest of any egg, hard or soft, found from any species. Paleontologists are fairly certain the egg was laid by an extinct marine monster known as a mosasaur. Considering how huge the egg is, it very clearly belonged to a truly tremendous animal. It's the size of a dinosaur egg, but at the same time, nothing like a dinosaur egg. One of the lead researchers, Lucas Legendre, says the egg is more similar to those from lizards and snakes. But because of its size, it was obviously laid by a monumental beast. The egg is bigger than most human heads, whereas even the biggest reptile eggs these days would be able to fit in the palm of a person's hand. Scientists haven't been able to 100% verify what kind of animal laid the egg, but all we know is that it was huge, and it was probably a sea monster. Number 2. Nesting Fish About 1,500 feet beneath the ice in Antarctica is the Weddell Sea, one of the coldest bodies of water on the entire planet. It's located between the Antarctic Peninsula and the main bulk of the continent. It's a pretty cold place, but not completely devoid of life. Deep-sea biologist Atun Purser and his colleagues recently stumbled across the largest nesting fish colony ever seen by human eyes. These researchers found what is essentially a natural fish nursery, but bigger than anything you could imagine. They identified about 60 million active ice fish nests spread across an area the size of Orlando, Florida. This is an amazing discovery for a handful of reasons. First of all, researchers have only ever come across a handful of ice fish nests at one time, never more than a few dozen. Up until now, nobody even knew the impact of the Antarctic ice fish on the food web. They were just kind of a mystery. They were icy veined fish that live in the coldest part of the world. Now we know they've been kept safe by the ice above them, which acts like a shield against fishermen. It really makes you wonder what the rest of the ocean would have looked like before mass fishing and whale hunts became a thing, when the entire sea was bursting with all kinds of life. Number 1. The Loch Ness Monster In 2019, yet another shocking fossil was discovered in Antarctica. This one is quite a bit different from the terrifying bird I told you about earlier. Scientists believe it could represent the real-life Loch Ness Monster, the biggest sea dinosaur that ever lived. The fossil is approximately 70 million years old, the petrified remains of an elasmosaur that could have weighed upwards of 15 tons. It's called the real Loch Ness Monster because of the myths that say Nessie is really just a long-necked plesiosaur that somehow managed to stay alive for millions of years. Plesiosaurs were once diverse marine reptiles with long necks and flat paddle-like flippers. Some say they looked like huge manatees with long giraffe necks and heads like snakes. And the elasmosaur was the biggest among all of them, a true sea monster. It does make sense that an elasmosaur fossil would be found in Antarctica. They dominated all the oceans of the world during the Cretaceous period, up until they went extinct. Sadly, or maybe not sadly, they did go extinct over 65 million years ago. And because of this, coupled with the fact that Loch Ness is only technically 10,000 years old, it's doubtful there is an elasmosaur living in the loch. And for those wondering, there is almost definitely no elasmosaur hiding in Antarctica. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite discovery from Antarctica? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you later! Bye!